Today, I begin my attempt to survive 100 days in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'd really appreciate it if you guys took a few seconds to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave a like to help this video hit the YouTube algorithm. As someone who started this YouTube journey with the mobile version of Minecraft, I thought it was only right to jump on this trend with my phone. Anyways, let's begin. Day one. As soon as I jumped into the world, I realized how hard this challenge was going to be. I nearly gave up right then and there. I spawned near a village and a broken portal, so that's exactly where I went to grab the loot. I tried trapping the villagers to have some trade shops for the future, but miserably failed. Afterwards, I just took as many haystacks as I could to supply my hunger. I also got a few pieces of leather armor from the chest nearby, and I upgraded my tools to stone and went on my way to explore the world. I went on boat, on feet, and eventually came across an abandoned village where I spent my first night to prevent myself from dying. Day two through five, I spent my time mining and looking for diamonds, which turned out to be extremely hard on the mobile version. Dealing with mobs and lava is definitely not ideal when you're not used to the controls anymore. However, I did find one diamond, which isn't the best, but it's still better than none. After I got enough iron to make a full set of armor and tools, I spent some time suffocating in gravel to get out of the cave. Day six. So once I got to the surface, I found a desert biome, but it didn't cross my mind to grab some cacti for a future project of mine. I went back looking for the desert when I ran into a new village. This time, I was able to trap a villager, take some loot from the blacksmith, and even trap three more villagers. I don't think they were really happy about it though. Day seven. I began building my first home and luckily, I found another desert biome to get sand for glass and cacti for my future pet. I think you guys know where this is going. Day 8 through 10, I was getting close to finishing my house when my phone battery died but here's the progress I made so far on the house. You might think that took way too long but try building a house on a phone. It's extremely hard. Day 10 through 12, I finished up the exterior of my house. I added a second floor and a second entrance downstairs. Then I started a wheat farm by taking the wheat and compost bin from the village nearby to start us off. Day 13 through 15, I spent three days mining looking for diamonds because I only got one diamond last time, but this time I came out with almost 20 diamonds in total. I also gathered enough obsidian to create a nether portal as well as an enchanting table. Day 16, I began stacking up food and I also found out that I was living beside a double village with two blacksmiths. The second blacksmith had crazy loot. I started to prepare for our nether journey, hoping we wouldn't die. Day 17, I was ready to go into the nether, but I was nervous because of the controls we were playing on. I decided to mess around and tame my first horse since I did have a saddle for my first blacksmith, as well as kill the first iron golem in the world. I was considering making it my pet, but the iron seemed like the better option. Day 18 through 22, we began our nether journey, which seemed like it took forever because it kind of did. I entered for a few seconds, then remembered I didn't have my gold armor. I went back in and started collecting gold. I instantly got a pearl trade from the piglins, which was very lucky considering I was playing on Bedrock Edition with terrible trade rates. I also found a nether fortress very close to the nether spawn. I collected enough blaze rods for the end, but let me tell you, I nearly died over four times doing so.
Luckily, I made it back to my house in one piece. So on day 23, I had no choice but to kill the wandering trader because he had nothing good to offer and I wanted to make good use out of the lead. Then I started the first sheep farm on the world. Afterwards, I began scouting for a good spot to begin our fishing dock project. Day 24. Using a bow on Pocket Edition was much harder than I remembered. I started collecting flint for arrows, searched for sugarcane for the enchanting table, and then came across a wolf. I didn't have any bones with me, so I had to go back home to get some. When I came back, the dog was gone. Day 25 through 30. I spent a good amount of time building a simple fishing dock, and after that, I did some fishing until I got really impatient and decided to build an automatic redstone fishing farm. I used Silent Whisperer's tutorial, so make sure you guys check out his video. I spent a few Minecraft days fishing until I got a name tag. It was time for me to complete my Kiwi project. I turned my cacti into lime green dye and began mining for iron in order to make an anvil. Day 31, I spent a little bit of time finishing my first simple wheat farm and then I made an anvil and renamed the name tag to Kiwi. After that, I dyed one of the sheep lime green and named it Kiwi. I crafted an enchanting table, very excited to enchant my new diamond armor but then I realized I never mine any lapis. Day 32 through 33. I embark on my exploration journey, but noticed that my horse was moving very slowly. So I swapped horses very quickly before continuing. As I was exploring, I ran into another wolf that I managed to tame this time. I ran into an acacia village where I had an epic fail where my wolf died against the iron golem. I kept going in the direction of the desert and eventually found a desert temple where I got an incredible amount of loot including diamonds, enchanting books, and a golden apple. Day 33 to 35, after nearly dying in lava, I continued mining for lapis so I can finally do some enchanting with my new set of diamond armor. Before doing so, I went back into the nether to get extra XP because level 30 enchantments are definitely the way to go. I spent the next 10 days mining in the nether for some ancient debris to prepare us for the ender dragon fight with netherite armor. Finding netherite armor on your phone is definitely not fun at all. From day 47 to day 49, I spent some time at the automatic fishing farm to see if I got any great enchantment books, but unfortunately, no luck. Day 50, I had a new set of diamond armor and I thought it was finally time to upgrade it to netherite. So I also decided to upgrade my pickaxe and sword since I had enough netherite ingots. I took my horse to go back to the pillager outpost that I ran into around day 33 and found a new desert village along the way. So I took care of some business at the outpost and received the bad omen effect. So I went back to the desert village so I could get a totem of them dying from the raid. I went to sleep first so I don't have to deal with the other hostile mobs. Day 51 to 60, I failed to find the last pillager in the first wave of the raid and decided to continue my exploration. 
After heading towards the direction where I first spawned into the world, I found the first village we were at and took the loot I started with, um, including a clock. This exploration took around 10 days because we went looking around for new things around the world and, well, we found a bunch of villages but not too much loot. Day 61 to 65, I went back into the nether to start looking for ingredients for the two specific potions that I needed for the ender dragon fight. We needed to collect nether wart and blaze powder, so I headed straight back to the nether fortress to collect them. When I got back to the village, I thought I had a brewing stand, but it went missing, so I went looking around the village to see if there was an extra one I could use. I started collecting some sand as well for the glass bottles to prepare for the potion brewing. Day 66 to 70, for the next three nights, I tried my best not to sleep because it's become a habit to sleep. So. I did whatever I could to kill time like chopping down trees, checking up on my villagers that I'd begun breeding hoping that I would get a librarian villager that traded mending books. As soon as the phantom started spawning in, you already know, I began hunting for my membranes. Day 71, I started brewing potions of strength and potions of slow falling with higher duration by adding redstone to them. I was almost ready to fight the ender dragon so I began crafting the eye of enders, golden apples, and bets. I organized a specific chest just for the items used against the ender dragon and at this point my little house area was looking very good and I finished off my enchanting room with some bookshelves and before sleeping I decided to hunt down some endermen for some extra pearls. Day 72 and Day 73 the search for the stronghold begins. I took everything out of the organized chest and went on my way to find the stronghold. I was praying that I wouldn't have to use too many Eye of Enders to find it. After 800 blocks, I came across an abandoned village where I decided to throw the Eye of Ender for the fourth time, hoping that it wouldn't break. I decided to sleep in one of the huts because it was turning nighttime and the Eye of Ender was pointing right at the village well. So I decided to mine downwards where I found the stronghold. Okay, so now that we're in the stronghold, I decided to record my face cam and audio just in case someone tries to question the legitimacy of me recording this off my phone. And as you guys can see, the gameplay is being recorded off my phone right now. It matches up. It should be in sync with the gameplay itself. I just realized I forgot my golden apples. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like... Oh my gosh. Where the heck is the end portal though? And of course, the end portal... We just got to the end portal and I just realized... Okay, I'm breaking this. I, I do not mess with silverfish at all whatsoever. But like, guys, what the... Uh, I already set spawn um, in, 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 in the village above us, so... I mean, we are only 800 blocks away from the from the village, so I mean, I could walk back and come back, but screw it, man. We might as well do this right. This is going to take us a few extra days, but hey, this makes the challenge easier for me because I'm, I'm starting to run out of things to do. I'm going to set spawn here, and uh, I'm, oh, and it's nighttime apparently. All right, well, I'm going uh, to set spawn here, run back home real quickly and i should be able to bring extra stuff like extra beds maybe this wasn't such a bad ow ow what the heck is oh why are there zombies out in the in the daytime it's literally daytime right now but this is this was actually not a bad idea now i can get some extra gold for some more golden apples um i don't know why there's no lava right here which is i mean that's kind of good i guess let's go ahead and collect this gold let's head back we're 800 blocks away, but everything will be... Oh my, what is... Spider? You stop. Okay, we're almost back home, but if you're a YouTuber watching this, please, I do not recommend this challenge because I am literally dying. This this challenge is not worth... <laughs> days of... Days of just playing Minecraft constantly, and especially doing this on the phone is no fun at all, guys. Like, like playing casually, sure, but playing this like seven hours a day for for eight days or something like that i don't even know 
Did I not grab him? What? Okay, well, at least we can make one more, I think. Um, we can make another golden apple, nice. And then I can probably bring extra beds too. There we go. You know what? I can do this. I can kill the Ender Dragon in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Whatever happens, I'm just happy I got this far playing playing on the phone. <laughs> um, and in only eight days, I was able to get here. So, oh my good, they only offered me one Eye of Ender. Well then, hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm sure I have enough. Yeah, I definitely have enough. There's one remaining, or two remaining. All right, there we go. All right. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. I need to see, I don't know, 100,000 likes on this video. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just putting it out there. All right, I'm going to drink this slow falling potion early just in case. Have this, have another one ready. I can see how much time I have left. Uh, let's jump. <laughs> I slowly just jump. Okay, so we're caged in like this, which is pretty good. Um, hopefully, I don't get kicked off the island already. That would be pretty sad. This is it guys, this is it, this is literally it. Okay, Mr. Enderman, just leave me alone. I'm, I I do not pose any threat. All right, so first things for, whoa, this one's actually really low to the ground. Screw it, I'm just gonna shoot it from here. It shouldn't be too hard. There we go, we got one. Oh my goodness, I'm doing this on Minecraft Pocket Edition. This is actually, this is actually wild. I'm just gonna build up this one. This is in the way, isn't it? Okay, 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 okay. Dragon, please do not show up yet. There we go, got another one. Alright, nice, 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 nice. I'm just gonna fall. Okay, soul falling potion, you are you are pretty amazing. I should probably stay on the inner side of the pillar, just so I don't get knocked off the entire end, end dimension. Alright, break this one. I'm gonna shoot this next one. It doesn't seem too far away. There we go, got another one. I'm gonna try to get this one from here. Oh! Oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm. Okay, I'm gonna ender pearl over there. Okay, I almost died just now. I almost just died. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Come on, come on. Alright, broke this. Come on, broke this. Alright, I'm gonna shoot the next one. Come on, there we go. Shot the next one. Alright, how many do I have left? Okay, I have this one right beside. Boom, shot that one. I don't know if I can make this shot, but I'm gonna try. Boom. All right, there we go. Um, how much time do I have? I still have two minutes left. Okay, I can probably shoot that pillar right there. All right, there we go. Holy crap, because of the dragon's breath, I, I'm lagging so much right Guys, I really don't know what to do. How many pillars do I have left? Okay, I'm gonna build up one of the tallest ones. I still have ender pearls to use. Wait a second, it's, it's not healing itself anymore. Okay, 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 I'm, I'm eating this golden apple just in case. All right, we got, oh my gosh, we have endermen chasing me down right now. Oh no, 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 please endermen, relax, relax, relax. Okay, I can, I can fight the ender, I can fight the ender dragon now, come on, come on. Okay, 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 I don't have time. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna drink this potion of strength. All right, I'm going for it, guys. I'm going for it. I don't think it's healing up again. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. I'm eating this golden apple. I need it because all this stupid Enderman just chasing me down. Stop. I'm so close to dying. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. I'm stressing so much. I don't even know if I can use the... I don't even know if I can use the bed. I'm just I'm just going crazy now, guys. I'm, I'm tapping as fast as I can. Right. Oh, come on. I'm tapping as fast as I can right Okay, 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 okay. I, uh, um, I've never, I've never done the bed trick before, but I'm gonna try it. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, dragon's breath. Stop, chill, relax. So it's halfway right now, it's halfway. Come on, I'm so close, I'm so close, I'm legit so close. I'm out, I'm out of golden apples now too. I'm out of golden apples. So I don't know what I, oh crap. Stop, these endermen. These endermen are all chasing me down on Okay, it's perched again. It's per oh my gosh, the dragon's breath. The dragon's breath is literally gonna be the death of me. Come on! I'm so close! Come on! Hey! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I killed the ender dragon. <laughs> no. 
Okay, okay, I'm grabbing all the XP before going. Okay, 46. All right, how many levels am I going to get out of this? Holy crap, dude. Okay, okay. I, I, I forgot the glass bottles. Oh my gosh. All right, let me move this. Don't wait, don't I need a torch? Okay, I'm going to come back for this later. I'm, I'm going to come back for this later because I don't have a torch or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm taking all this XP and... We have finally completed Minecraft Pocket Edition. Holy crap. Oh my god, dude. Day 76 to 80, I started brewing fire ass potions, tamed a dog, and started building a dog house for him. I really hope he likes it. I spent a little bit of time fishing for name tags. So I ended up with two name tags. So I finally named my dog Spike and made an iron golem and named him Alphonse after 80 days of playing Minecraft on my phone. Day 81 to 90. I don't know why it took so long with the drop rates on Mobile Edition, but it took me almost 10 days to get three wither schools from the nether. Day 91, I begin preparing for the Wither boss fight, which uh, turns out to be the worst decision ever. Day 92 to 93, I spawned the Wither in and instantly regretted it. With the damage it was doing to me, I nearly died right off the bat. I was able to get it down halfway to melee mode, but my phone was lagging so badly. I ran back to the village and milked the cows to get rid of the withering effect, but I didn't take into account my potions as well. I went back into the fight, but it was literally impossible to do anything with the lag and uh, well, this is what happened. Guys, we were so, so close to surviving the entire 100 days in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I wanted to go and get Elytra Wings from the End City and even get the Dragon Egg. And, you know, there, there was so much I wanted to do. But I really hope you guys enjoy this video. This is probably the most painful video I have ever had to film in a short amount of time. So please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. But other than that, see you guys in the next one. Peace.